without going trying to get myself too far on this because we have we have to shift a little bit. But so you know, when you say weapons, is it, is it always weapons or is it like utility? Like, would a cleric could be kind of like a med kit and the level of expertise you develop with the med kit? Is it or is it always a weapon? It's always it's always a weapon, and and so like and the reason why I the reason why I made it always a weapon is because. Because there, you're going to have people that that really would like break the system, and by all means, break this game. Like I love it, but like it's the it's the pacing of how the game is going to be broken. Um, and so if they can only if they can only learn one thing at a time, um, and and like because like a person that's been you know doing bow and arrow for forever, like drops a bow and arrow and then picks up a staff they're not going to know how to fire, how to throw a fireball right off the bat. They're going to need practice. Um, and so that's how, that's how they can learn uh, like different skills. And again, they can swap those skills, uh, whatever, like to, to whatever they need, uh, they feel like they need to, to, to do. Um, also, there are team attacks in the game. So, so if you say that you have your, your sword and board, uh, tank, um, and you are, you're fighting like this giant, uh, like ice golem or whatever. Um, you and your partner can perform a team attack. Your partner can cast a spell, hit you, and then you can, you can, the the turn the one of the spells is called uh batter up uh so uh you flank the monster uh you ran one person rams into the monster the other person hits the monster like a like a home run derby the monster and everything like that there's various teams attack team attacks in the game there's probably 40 team attacks in the game which also like helps you uh develop and makes your party very personable you have to have communication. You're just like, oh, you know, your like my ability plus your ability would do this really cool ability, which is necessary for the for the party. Um, and there's also fusion abilities where you can take one ability and another ability, combine those abilities together to form a bigger ability. Well, I'm sold, man. I'm I'm getting. I'm I'm. Where do I buy it? But <laughs> oh man. So, so, um, wow. Uh, so right now it, I'm working on my, my fourth book and the, and the, the way I, the way I actually designed the game, um, is, uh, again, you get, you, you would creating a character, you know, everybody would have one book and they would have to like pass the book around and, and, you know, Somebody's just like, oh, you know, I'm waiting on my turn to create this character and yada, yada, yada. Um, I, I have four small books in, in a book in a sleeve. So while somebody's working on uh, finding out their abilities, another person can be creating their character. While a person is creating their character, another person can be working on figuring out what race they want to be. When a person is working on finishing, like while a person can work on finishing their race, uh, another person can be doing something. So like creation is always in a circle. No one's ever like left out being stagnant. Um, and the, the four books are, uh, first is the, the first book is the game mechanics and, uh, in character creation. Uh, second book is all about the races. Third book is all about the abilities. And the fourth book is, uh, five, um, uh, short story, uh, campaigns intro campaigns that, uh, that help a person that help uh, DMS to facilitate uh, mod to facilitate campaigns. They're like small modules and they're radically different too. Um, you have like a hack and slash module. You have like a, a, a module that does like detective work. You have a pol- very political module that, that requires a lot of charisma and everything like that. So like, a person can can pick and ch- can play a module and be like, all right, everyone responded really well with this. We can take that story, the ending of that story, and you know expand on it, and so on. You know, 
Well, that's awesome. Well, this is going to be an end up being a longer episode than I usually do because oh, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm sorry. Too, I know I'm too. I'm just the problem is I'm too interested in what you're doing. That like I, I'm not wanting to push back. Like oh, I like this. We'll be going with this. Um, so at least we talked about it. We know how the people that play these games are. We know how the people that create these games are. Like this is a particular type of person that tends to gravitate to, and when you say the word marketing to them. They, they, they kind of you get their hackles up like, Ugh. but yeah. unless you cross that bridge, you're never going to sell the thing. So I'm curious, kind of, how have you been working on getting the game out there in front of people? When I first when I first started this, like I had a I had huge momentum, um, and I would do I would do demos, and the first the the first demo I had like I was just like, oh, I need a max of like six seven people. I had like 14 people show up and I was like, whoa, you know? Um, and it was really, uh, I mean, like that's, that's what I did, you know? Uh, and, and so, um, and so it was, it was relatively easy, uh, for me to get my name out there. I, uh, you know, um, I, I talked to the owner of, uh, of his venue. Um, he was just like, okay, you know, uh, I, there, here's a particular time or date. Um, and, you know, put the feelers out there and people will come. Uh, second time I tried to do that didn't really work out. Um, I did get a lot of people, but like it, I got like seven, maybe eight. Third time I got four and fifth, like fourth time I got like four again, fifth time I got three. And so I was like, there's, I'm doing something wrong. You know, uh, like I, 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 I'm getting my name out there, but my participation has like dropping. Yeah, exactly. And, and so, um, and so what I, what I've started to do was, um, was just hit different avenues. Um, I realized that I was just going to one spot over and over again. Um, and, and so I started going to, to different, uh, like comic book shops uh, like different venues and everything like that, putting my name out there, uh, giving them, giving them my card, uh, telling them about like the, like the, the, what time of the demos and everything like that. Um, and, and that has been, that has been very, very transformative. Um, just in general, just like, because you, it's really easy, especially if you're not like, if you, if marketing and putting your name out there, because I, I create, that's it. And I don't know anything about marketing. Um, so I find a comfortable spot and I want to stay. And, and, but like I, the second I actually started going to different uh, places and different avenues, that's when, that's when like, like people started like coming in. I started getting a lot of emails and my, my website started, started getting a lot of clicks and everything like that. Well, <laughs> in marketing, what we would tell you when something you find something that works, just do more of that, you know, or like if you've got if you've got an advertisement that's working, just keep throwing money at it until it stops working and then cut off whatever flow because it's, it, you know, it, the the whims of the world, earth and the Internet, they change. And so when you find something, why why not exploit it as much as you can? So it's like, if you know you have a system that's working here, but like maybe you're pushing it too much at one place, well, just, just spread that around. You're not doing anything different other than just being in a different place. You know, it's just more of the same kind of thing. <laughs> now, when you're, you said you're three, you said three or four books done so far with the, the game. So obviously the game itself is not completed out there ready yet, correct? When do you actually expect the game to be completed? Uh, the game should be should be completed, uh, box and everything. Uh, I would say June, the next June twenty twenty five. Okay, and I'm curious if you have any type of like, any type of plan for marketing it online or getting it out to like broader group of people. Are you trying to keep things kind of local? Like, what's what's the idea? What's the goal? So. Um, so a very wise person told me <laughs> um, to to start uh, 
to start building a fan base early. And, and, you know, um, uh, and so I, I, I was like, okay, how, how do I do that? And there was, there was moments where I would like, I created a Twitch channel um, and I would just load it up, put it on my Facebook, uh, put it on my Instagram and like Snapchat or whatever. And just like, I, I'm working on my game from, from such and such to such and such. If anybody wants to come in and join and watch me do my stuff and nerd out for a bit, you know, you can. Um, and that worked pretty well. Um, I, I started creating newsletters and, and, and sending information out there and just doing little teasers and filler, filler, uh, feelers of the game of, of Alam and, and just of my company in general. And, and that worked tremendously. Keeping yourself in people's consciousness usually helps them. Yeah. Yeah. And that's, that's something that I really, that really, I, I didn't know that um, until I, until it, like my well was, st- was starting to run dry, you know? Well, it's, it's, it's funny because I think we all learn that lesson at some point, but it's something you have to ask, why is this not intuitive? Because we all know how fickle we are with what we see on the internet. Like there's so, we're bombarded with so much every day that like we can very easily forget, like you'll, you'll get this email on our, our box and it was like, it's been a couple months. I don't know when I signed up for that or why. I'm just get rid of this thing. Like keeping people remembering you fresh in their minds, like, if they liked you, they'll probably continue liking you, but you, you got to make sure they don't forget why they liked you in the first place kind of thing. Right. And like in me as like, it, cause I, again, this is, this is my first time actually like selling and being an entrepreneur. So I, I've, I've, I've always been like a consumer and I'm very, 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 very aware of just being bombarded, you know? And I, I was like, you know, I don't want to do that, but there's a reason why that's done. You know, yes, you, yes, you're going to reach to the same people, you know, over and over again, but you're, you're really looking for that one person, those two or three people, you know, that, that doesn't have the eye. Well, and the one thing I always try and focus on anytime I'm like, Oh, am I bugging people too much? Is you got to remember like almost everything you do with the exception of email, it's all through the algorithm and the algorithm hates showing you to people. So, you know, you, you, you think, oh, I posted 10 times today. But they saw you twice. <laughs> that's, that's solid. That's very true. <laughs> it's, it's like, I just try to keep that in the back of my head. It's like, no matter how much I think I'm posting, they're not seeing what I'm posting most of the time. So, you know, just keep pushing, keep trying to get it out there. 